Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we'll be taking a look at a common question that comes up in Excel, which is how do I freeze rows and columns? I have an example learning report here that shows employees, their manager, and training status. And I want to be able to see the column headers as I scroll down so that I know what the data represents. For example, when I scroll down, I see a date here but I'm not sure what this date indicates. It could be a training date or perhaps the date the employee was hired. And if I scroll back up, I see it's actually the date the class was created. But Excel has available functions in order to fix this. One quick tip is that if your data is formatted as a table, the top row will always be visible as you scroll down. Let's take a look. You can use the keyboard combination Control T to format this as a table. And now as I scroll down, you'll see the top row remains visible and I can see what the dates represent and the names as well as the employee IDs, who they match up to. Heading back to the original spreadsheet, Excel gives you more flexibility to freeze columns and rows by heading to the View tab up at the very top and clicking on Freeze Panes. This top option for freeze panes we'll take a look at last. But Excel gives you an option to freeze the top row or freeze the first column. And if you notice, the icons here in this menu indicate to you what will be frozen by your selection. So I'll choose first freeze top row. And again, as I scroll down, the top row with all the column headers stays in place. But now if I scroll to the right, because I want to check the class grade, I'm no longer able to see my employee name or their ID. So let's head back to the left and up to the very top. We'll go back to the freeze panes menu. This time I'm going to select unfreeze panes to cancel out that frozen top row. And I'm going to select this cell here. Now when I go back up to freeze panes, and this time select freeze panes, this will freeze all columns to the left and all rows above my selected cell. So when I select this option, you'll notice a line now appears in Excel indicating to me which columns are frozen. And if I scroll down, I can see all my column headers. And if I scroll to the right, I can see the class grade, but I can also see my employee name and their IDs. I hope you enjoyed this tip. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.